In Honduras, seven men were sentenced to up to 54 years in prison for the 2016 murder of indigenous environmental activist Berta Cáceres. Cáceres was fighting the construction of a major hydroelectric dam on Lenca indigenous land, where she was when she was shot to death in her home in March of 2016. She was the winner of the prestigious Goldman Prize for Environmental Defenders in 2015. A court has ruled Cáceres's killing was ordered by executives of the Honduran company behind the dam, known as DESA, who hired the convicted hitmen to carry out the killing. At least two of the men involved in the murder were trained by U.S. military forces. This is Berta Cáceres's daughter, Berta Zuniga Cáceres, speaking outside the court in Tegucigalpa. Pues aquí no acaba el camino de justicia para nosotras porque eh, la impunidad no va a romperse con una eh, sentencia de los autores materiales. Nosotros seguimos demandando la justicia integral, que sean todas las personas que se han visto involucradas en este crimen, pues sean condenadas y enjuiciadas. Honduras is one of the most dangerous countries uh, in the world for environmental activists and land protectors, with at least 24 environmental leaders killed since March 2000. 15. In more news from Honduras, the TV host Jose Arita was murdered last week in the northern coastal city of Puerto Cortes, shortly after the broadcast of his nightly political show, The Hour of Truth. Four unidentified individuals in a car shot at Arita outside a convenience store, killing him instantly, their motives unknown. The Honduran College of Journalists says over 80 journalists have been killed in Honduras since 2001, and at least eight in 2019 alone. The murders, many of them, are unsolved.